Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to cut some mock tender steaks. Mock tender is part of the chuck and the chuck is where you're going to have the best value. And it's always best to buy the roast and cut your own steaks. So today we're going to get some mock tender steaks. And we're also going to get some boneless short ribs and some steel meat. Alright, so you're going to get the most value out of buying roast at all times. So those are the mock tender steaks. This is a steak that you're going to have to, you can marinate it and then like pan sear it or probably cook it down. So there you go. So those will be the boneless, boneless short ribs. I'm going to go ahead and get some more mock tender steaks with some stew meat. And a lot of times you could buy, it's always best to just buy the roast and then break it down in the preferred cuts that you need. So we're going to go ahead and get some thin slice out of it. Like I said, these mock tenders are probably not the most tender piece of meat, but it's definitely going to have great flavor. So you could pan sear them, cook them down with some vegetables, or you could go ahead and marinate them, and they're going to come out pretty good. And here we go, we're going to get some stew meat out of it. So like, it's always best to just, just learn the basic of cutting meat, because you're going to save yourself a lot of money, especially in this economy, where stuff is so expensive. And like I said, these would be the boneless short ribs. These are me. This is like a really good piece of braising meat, and it, it might not be as tender as some other cuts, but it's definitely gonna make it up in flavor. A lot of times, people are so scared of a little meat that you might have to chew a little bit, but flavor is always good in the chuck. That's where we're gonna get your most value. And there you go. So that's everything we end up getting out of.